What's going on YouTube is Donnie B all day. So listen, somebody put out a request that I actually um, do a little bit of cooking along with some knife reviews to show you what, you know, you're going to catch some game or buy some game. Um, how are you going to prepare it and how are you going to, how are you going to prepare it and what are you going to do to make it taste real good? First things first, get my ribeye, set it aside. Second thing second, put some butter in a little bowl that I can throw in the microwave because we need to melt some butter. So hold on. All right, so next thing's next. I'm going to take some minced garlic, and I'm putting a whole bunch of that. And I'm going to stick that right inside this melted butter. And eventually it's going to get all mixed up real nice. So hold on, I'll show you what's next. All right, so third thing's third. Let's see, it's a mix. And uh, I get this stuff, and it's amazing. It's called this right here, this pork barrel barbecue stuff. It's a seasoning. I'm going to take a nice big spoonful of that, stick it right there in the melted butter. This stuff I get at Costco, this stuff is good on anything. I love it. It's just a bunch of allspice. Same kind of thing you'd get no matter what. So now I'm going to take it all in my melted butter, and I'm just going to mix it real good and get everything so it looks like one big, beautiful, garlicky, spicy, tangy soup. All right, so... Get rid of my garlic here and get rid of some other stuff. I'm not the only one in the kitchen today. Let me get my steak set up and then we'll keep on going. All right, now I wouldn't be down to be all day the knife guy if I didn't come out with a real knife. So I'm using the Kanatsune. And even though it says it's a fruit knife, this thing is a knife for all occasion. So what I want to do is I want to butterfly my ribeye and uh, I'm going to do it through the fat side. So basically, normally I would put this on down and try this, but I gotta do a video. So what I'm gonna do is look at this. Look at this Kanatsune, man. It just glides right through that hard, gristly fat area. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna come through this entire steak, almost. I'm gonna get all the way to the bookend and then so I can open it up, but it stays together. I don't wanna separate the two halves. I just wanna come really close. So let's see, I'm trying to do this while being on video, I don't want to cut my fingers off, which, shit, man, that'd make some good video, wouldn't it? <laughs> like, ha, ha, ha. All right, so, <laughs> so I know if you guys did it, I'd laugh at you. That's part of being a human being in America. All right, so let's see. We're going to finish this guy off. I'm going to come mighty close to the edge, but not all the way to the edge. And I'll tell you, this knife, guys, look at the video I did on the Kanatsune um, this thing is wonderful, man. It is wonderful. So I'm almost to the point where I want to be. I'm trying to just be cautious. A, I don't want to hit my hand. B, I don't want to go too far through. And you can see at this point, I'm just taking the knife and I'm just gliding it across. And that's exactly perfect. So here's my steak, right? Here's how thick it was originally. It's still that thick, obviously, but now separated. So Next thing's next. Hold on, let me set it up. Let me set it up. So remember, guys, none of this works without a Disney princess plate. That's probably the most important part of this entire video. So we're going to stick down the steak right there. And then what I'm going to do is look for this over here. Because it's always where you're looking, you know, because when you don't set up everything and prepare. So now I'm going to take my little brush. And I am going to very, very thickly and very nicely coat one side of this. And I mean, I'm going to really put a bunch of this on there, right? And it's going to come out beautiful. So now what I'm going to do is I want to make sure I'm going to get the sides and all that, but I'll do that before I finish. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up. I'm going to open up this butterfly and... Oh man, that looks so good in there. And I am going to get the entire inside because we don't want to just cook the outside of the meat. We want to cook this whole damn thing with um, with a nice flavor. We want to coat every part of this steak. And um, this is going to be immaculate, immaculate eating. All right, so let's flip that bad boy back over and... Let me move my spoon out of there because I really don't need that. Oh, I'll even take some of the stuff off the spoon. Mm -hmm. Now remember, I didn't measure anything because it's literally eyeball. When you're putting this stuff on there, you just put it on to what looks good. And uh, 
to me it looks just right so let me finish coating that on there and now i'm going to get the front and the sides and i know you guys aren't seeing it all you're seeing is my chest move up and down which i know you like lady all right so um Let's get that going right there. <laughs> I'm still not showing you. I picked it up just to show you, and I'm still not showing you. All right, get the bottom part right there. Now I got this side right here. And oops, show you the back of the plate. All right, so basically, that's what it looks like. And uh, I'll give you a, I'll give you a better, a better eyeball on that. This is what we're, this is what we're dealing with right here. Now, you can't tell me if you're a steak lover, you can't tell me that doesn't look just great. And it's not even cooked yet. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cook it. So, hold on now. All right. So, what I am what I like to do is I like to um, cook on the copper when the grill is uh, no good because the weather sucks. Um, this is what we do. We put, I, what I did is I just took the remaining uh, stuff out of that bowl, my little mixture here. Put that on there. Remember, you could use any wah, any allspice you want. Um, there's there's no rules and engagement on allspice. You just throw whichever. You can put adobo in there if you want. Um, whatever makes it good. Now you see that butter's boiling. That's telling me that I'm pretty much ready to throw my steak on top of this copper pot, a pan, whatever the hell you want to call it. And the heat. Let's see. I got about high, almost medium high, right? So. Um, you can hear that butter sizzling. That's telling me it's time to reduce the heat. And I'll show you what we're going to do here. We're going to reduce the heat by about that much. So I want it medium heat while it cooks. And uh, let's throw that bad boy on there. I'll tell you what, man. Arby's thinks they have the meats. But they don't know. Oh, the meats are done by Don. It'd be all day. So, uh... I'm gonna let this cook for about two minutes on one side, and then I'm gonna flip it for about two minutes on the other side. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going, hmm, looks good. I'm gonna open up this butterfly and I'm gonna put it face down for maybe 30 seconds. That's all it's probably gonna need. And uh, we will see what it looks like when it is nice and browned and beautiful. All right, let's come back to this. All right, boys and girls, little update. That's my uh, first flip, so that was two minutes on one side. You can see it's browning really nice, and it's still pink where it needs to be pink, and uh, all that's going to cure up real well. So I will give you a new heads up when it's just about there. All right, boys and girls, take a look at that beauty right there. And when you're a complete non-alcoholic like me, you put down some Martinelli sparkling red grape juice and a little cider there. But uh, look at this steak, how it worked out. It looks gorgeous. And I got to I gotta dig into a piece there. And uh, I'll show you, you know, because when you're a knife guy, you always use the wrong knife for every job. So I'm using the Buck 110 to make this thing work. And let me flip this camera around so I can show you how sweet this steak is now nice it's gonna cut right through oh yeah so check this out right here we've got the buck 110 is a do-all kind of knife mm, that is a do-all kind of steak so look at this knife man that works better than any steak knife i have in the house um just a great knife look at the color inside that steak this thing is cooked perfectly cooked perfectly it's exactly how i want it for all you well done guys this is not how you'd want it but um a nice medium rare to medium is exactly how i like my steaks i'm gonna go make a mess of this get the dogs jealous y'all come back to me now this is donnie b all day and until next knife or video